What's up guys, it's me Sean here with some C Sharp tutorial here. And this time we're going to continue where we left off from the previous video where it's now time to put a options or events to these buttons. So whenever user clicks them, it's going to do something, right? So if it doesn't do anything, it's pretty much like useless. So uh, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to implement a event to these buttons. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to hit uh, the item that we want to add events to. So let's say I wanted to add events to this exit option here. So whenever user double clicks exit or whenever user clicks exit, it will close the application. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring my mouse to there and then double click that spot. And what it's going to do is it's going to create this method that says exit tool strip menu item has been clicked. So this happens only if user clicks that option there. You can decide not to do anything and it will still be same as what we had before but uh, there's no point of leaving it blank. So let's put something in there like application dot uh, exit yeah so if you do application dot exit with uh, parentheses and semicolon what it's going to do is it's going to close the application whenever user hits that button there so we can test this out by hitting start and so we have our program here so if I go file open it's not going to do anything but if I go and file exit, it's going to close our application for us. So now that we know how to do that, how about we add something different? Let's add something to our credit section here. So let's double click our credit and notice it created a method called credit tool strip menu item clicked. So this only happens if user clicks that button there. So this time we're going to show a credit window when user clicks that button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a menu. Oh, message box, sorry. Message box dot show with parentheses and semicolon. But inside of parentheses here, we're going to have a two string values so two double set up double quotes into them so the first double quote here is the content that will be displayed inside of the window and this uh, the right side string here will be the text that will go on top of your uh, windows so for example this one has menu bar Microsoft Visual Studio so that's where the second string uh, is for okay so let's make the second street a uh, second string say something like this is my first program and in our content section I'm actually going to put a lot of stuff in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new string value so you can say capital S T R I N G S equals and double quote and let's say something like um, hi thanks for using my program and let's do backslash n and that is a new line uh, feed so what it means is it's going to add a enter key into the end of that string so if I add new string to it here and say something like this this is fun a new line feed and we can put something like version 1.0 or something like that with smiley face for user-friendly interface 
So uh, after you finish, don't forget the semicolon. And what are what we are going to do is we're going to put this s, the string s, into this spot. So instead of putting double quotes, I'm going to put this s here. So you can pretty much have like a whole paragraph of string, and then just put it in here instead of cramping all that stuff into that little segment there. So that's just one of the tips that I would give you. And once you finish that up, just hit start and test your code out. So file open still doesn't work. These all doesn't work. But if I hit about and credit, it's going to show you a new window with what? This is my first program and all the content inside. So yeah, that's how you make a options to your menus. So thank you for watching this tutorial guys. And if you guys have any other questions, please leave questions on the comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.